Hey everybody and welcome on back to Minecraft. Today we are doing something a little different than what we have been doing recently. I recently just needed some time to de-stress, get into Minecraft, and had just the creative juices flowing. So we came up with a very, very cool Mesa Badlands inspired village area because, you know, Minecon, we talked about the Mesa there quite a bit. Unfortunately, it did not win the vote. I honestly did not vote for it myself, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to envision what a Mesa village could look like because we don't really have those. The desert village is about as close as we can get. So I hope you all are ready for today's episode and let's get into the time lapse. Moving into the big old time lapse here, I wanted to make sure that this is still slow enough so that you all can more or less follow along. We're going for like an Adobe style house area here, so it's very boxy. It's pretty plain, but I love it because it's so colorful and you can really focus on learning how to add in a lot of smaller details just with where you place your windows, what types of things you use to mix up the structures like buttons in here or whether you're using a big old log or whatever it might be. It's really fun. It's really fun to mess with these things. Like here we have both of those different types. And then also a few ways that we can break this up and make it a bit more interesting as we're going throughout here is in my texture pack personally, I have chiseled uh, red sandstone being that kind of brick texture that you're seeing here. So we're able to mix those in here as a kind of a border one. And then later on, you'll see that we're actually going to use it as a base for the palette here so that the top looks a lot cleaner and kind of weathered down, whereas the bottom is revealing the brick itself because maybe things are banging into it all the time. But I thought it'd be really fun to come in here and mess with a brand new style that I had never tried before this. I basically just sat down and was like, I want to build in the Mesa. How can I build in the Mesa? So you all are basically seeing my exact thought process here of starting with literally no plan at all and what we can move forward with and complete in the end here. I really love it. I had so much fun doing this. I had really a great time here. If anybody has other biomes or things that you want to see me build in and try and just experiment with and come up with something new, be sure to let me know because this was really fun. I would love to do some more of these things if you all are interested in those. I think there's a lot that we can add to and really grow on inside of the Minecraft world and kind of expand and maybe we do a series where we build a village or build a small town in every single biome in the game. If y'all think that'd be interesting, let me know. But what we're doing in here is, as I want to talk through this, I wanted to add a few areas that would have these chimneys or the campfire smoke coming out the top of it. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have full-on fireplaces and things, but I wanted to get a lot of life and movement inside of here because we're in this very, very warm mesa biome. They don't need to be using these furnaces to heat their houses. They're going to be warm enough just from the day heat, like the heat of the sun throughout the day. So we don't need to build those entire systems out here, but they still need to cook food somehow. So I still want to add in a few areas that we can have a lot of the heat getting out of there where they can still cook. If they're cooking inside the place, it needs to get out of there. And then also you'll see a lot of the windows that I'm making are higher up on the structure so that as the heat rises to the top of the inside of the house, it can also get blown out by any air coming throughout the area. So it doesn't stick in there and the houses are actually able to stay a lot more cooled down which those are kind of little things that you don't really think about too much, but when you start adding them in and thinking about them as you're going throughout, I find it really fun. You also see that a lot of what I'm using here is just a lot of different types of blocks mixing in together. Over here on that red terracotta and pink terracotta, I wanted to mess with adding in brick to kind of add that in there. I think we had like brick with a darker grout line, it would look a lot better for the red one, but for the pink one, it works really well. And then bringing in, because we're in the mesa, so leaves are a little kind of dull and dead and dry, uh, I'm using the acacia leaves in my pack here and they come out with this really cool texture for it, which I absolutely loved. It was so fun seeing that one. And adding in all these detail bits, bringing the buttons back in, you can see really that that starts to bring these structures to life, just as these things are coming throughout. And one thing that I wanted to add in this area is even though it's a mesa, I wanted to add some way that we can have life in here. We don't want it to all be dead and dry and boring, except for maybe a friendly cactus throughout here. So I wanted to bring in some like water wells of sorts, or maybe there's some underground wells that are coming up through the mountains of these mesas, hills that they're able to tap into and bring an aqueduct of sorts out here to bring that down into the area. And then I just turned it into a little wheat field because I felt like the color of wheat in Minecraft really can help have that drier feeling to it without feeling totally overgrown and rich and lush. It gives a good dry feel to it. So I really like that one. I think it worked out pretty well for us so far. And for our roadways and all those things that you're seeing like the stairs and everything for where people are gonna be walking on top of, 
That's all actually just our plain Jane red sandstone inside my texture pack. It's just kind of smoothed out a little bit more than anywhere else is. And I thought it would work pretty perfectly. It really fits in close with the red sand that we're seeing everywhere in here. So I thought it worked out pretty well for us. And then coming over here, I just want to start adding in a few more smaller houses working along the cliff face of this mesa. Because I think that's the way that we're going to build a lot of these. Originally, I was like, oh, we got to make a full village that's like all the way circular. There's always a center point. We can have the town center. But as I was kind of working along this, I found that it was a lot more interesting to just build them along the cliff side. And then maybe we could add in some storyline of sorts throughout this area where they build on the cliff because maybe there's something dangerous down in the sand or the sand isn't stable enough to hold up their houses. So we kind of are forced into building on the cliff sides. And I thought it'd be kind of cool. You will notice a lot of the structures that we're building up here, they all have slight variation tweaks to them, whether they have the oak logs or the buttons for kind of the support type structures and whatever they have on the corners of them, like the yellow one there has the oak trap doors kind of holding it up a little bit better. And everything just kind of flows here. There's no rhyme or reason. I just kind of was building. As I built along the side, I just kept adding more and more things throughout here. Here you can actually see me planning out a few of them because I wanted to add kind of a nicer area to this and have a cool staircase that was going up all the way across the top of all of these. So I thought it'd be fun. And one thing I found for the white ones is that they were very clean and pristine looking. So a good way to mix that up actually was just bringing in the regular terracotta. Maybe they needed to patch a hole in the wall that they weren't able to fill in previously. So they had to do it and kind of just worked out in the end of the resources they have on hand. They couldn't really afford to keep it all pristine and clean and the white color in there. And maybe the other colors hold up a little bit better, or that's where kind of the brick is being revealed. But then I also thought, I was like, well, we are in this mesa area. Let's bring in one that's purely just the terracotta itself. And I think it worked out pretty well. I really like this one. Let me know what you all think about this build, though, because I, I had a lot of fun with this one. I had a lot of fun spending time in here and just working inside of a mesa. I have literally never built inside of a mesa biome before. All I've ever used them for was farming up terracotta and getting the heck out of there to go back to whatever other build that I was working on. It was really fun to kind of challenge myself and come over here and see what we could come up with. It was a really cool one to mess with all this stuff and see what we could add in here as we're bringing in these last few houses. They're kind of carbon copies of sorts, different shapes and sizes of the other ones we're working with, but I want to keep that same style. So they're really kind of basic along the same lines of what we're looking at previously. Hopefully you all found this one pretty useful. You guys will have to let me know on what else you're thinking of for different builds that we can look at, different places that we can build inside of. And it'd be really fun. It'd be really cool to mess with these. I've been kind of playing with the ideas of seeing what like a mountain village would look like, like a mountain folk. Not really like the Viking one that we're thinking of doing inside of my single player world or anything like what we're doing on Source Block right now. I thought it'd be kind of fun just to experiment with just like these own styles that they might fit inside of the other worlds that we do, but I think it would be kind of more to have standalone ones where they just kind of are there. It's just a project that we work on for the day, and that's what we're doing for the day. And I think it'd be so much fun to kind of run through all of those and see what we could find. But we're bringing in one last area for another watery pond area over here to bring some more life in and just have some more movement in the region because the flowing water really helps to add a lot of life in here as we have the big leaf bushes around everywhere this water actually really helps just make it feel a lot more alive and a lot more contrasty throughout this entire thing so hopefully you all are enjoying this one so far as we are starting to wrap this one i just want to say thank you all so much for the consistent support and everything that we have going on throughout just the channel and all that i know you all have been enjoying source block a lot the new smp series that we started up I know a lot of you are really, really dedicated to the Building with Whip single player survival series that I've been doing for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, those episodes all take me about 10 to 12 hours to finish up at this point because of the scale and size of the projects that we've been going for. And I don't really want to be taking away from those per se. I love the style that we're doing in those videos. I love the amount that we're getting done in each one of the episodes, but between all the resource gathering and all of the building, because all the builds are absolutely massive, I think it might be time that we need to say do like three of those a week instead of four of those a week, and maybe add in another something like this as we're taking a little bit of an eye candy look throughout the last part of the build. 
So if there's any other ideas, as I know I've asked a few times before, of what we should be building here, or other types of videos you all wanna see, maybe some tutorials, maybe some like, I know a lot of people recently been asking me about how to build trees or how to build other different types of terraforming structures or house tutorials or anything like that. Let me know down in the comments below what you all wanna be seeing on the channel. What would help you all become better builders? What parts of building do you all struggle with? Because those are the things that I wanna be able to help you all out with. I originally started this channel with kind of being that source of inspiration for everybody else out there. I don't want to do that block for block tutorial method of place block one here, then place block two here. But I would love to convey that, convey that general idea of how to build inside this game, how to make something as cool as what we just built up here in today's video of this is not planned at all. This is just something that I sat down for a few hours and was like, I'm just going to have fun building. We're just going to go for it. We're going to see what happens. And we went from there. And this is what we got in the end. And I would love to help you all get to that point. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you on the flip side.